Well, I'm very pleased to say I'm now joined by Kevin Boothby, who is, of course, promoter at Henlow and Tosa, but first and foremost, passionate greyhound owner, owns a hell of a lot of greyhounds, and mostly with prefix Savannah. Uh, thanks for joining us, Kevin. I know you're an incredibly busy man. Um, I want to talk to you about your previous Derby dogs and uh, your success in the Derby to date. What's the furthest you've got? To be fair, I had many dogs in the Derby. The furthest I've got was Savannah Downey. I think he made about three rounds of the Derby and that was it. So I've never really gone for the Derby. I didn't think I've had anything good enough to go for the Derby in the past few years. So, But hopefully this time around, hopefully we've got a couple of interesting types which we can have a go at it. And to be fair, you've been buying dogs for the Derby, haven't you? So it's obviously something that does mean a lot to you, a competition that you want to do well in. Oh, yeah. I mean, originally we had a team of five dogs for the Derby and, you know, obviously two's uh, got a risk problem since the... Uh, since we've been trialling them, so we're down to sort of three dogs for the derby. So it's obviously been a passionate ground, man. It'd be great to win the number one prize in the sport. All your derby dogs, despite the fact you've got a variety of, of trainers that you use, all your derby dogs you put with Diane Henry. Why is that? Well, Diane, she's, she's local to Knott, so and not say Diane over the years has done well for me from winning the Catwoman to Savannah winner. So, you know, that's, that's why I like to do things. So it's, it's, it works perfect that way, to be fair. Okay, well, let's talk about uh, the first contender you've got for the Derby and possibly the one you're most excited about. This is uh, a new purchase, was called New Line Cody in Ireland. Now you've just renamed it Savannah Cody. Uh, so how come you've come to own this dog? Well, basically over the years, I bought two dogs of a guy called Nigel Brown uh, and he heads a syndicate called Have a Dream Syndicate in Ireland. And uh, I bought Savannah Jinsky off him, who won the Maiden Derby at uh, Henlow quite a few years ago. I also bought a dog off him called Savannah Down Hot, who's obviously we're going to put in the English Derby this year. So when Nigel rang me and said he's got this exciting pup winning, uh, just had his first race at Shelbourne on 28 20, I thought we know he'd have a look at him. And it's, you know, it was a hell of a run he did. And he did exactly the same in the second round. He won the semi final in the same sort of time. And then he got beat in the final as a short price favourite. So I suppose. We're watching the dog's pace and he's only had four races. I had to be nosy and go in. But Nigel and the boys kept the leg of him. Uh, and I bought 75% of him. So he, he does excite me. But but hopefully he's trying tomorrow at Knott's. Hopefully he'll go well. But we'll make a mind up over the next couple of weeks if he'll go in the derby. But if all goes well, yeah, he'll go in the derby. And it is a very fast dog. Very fast. It's probably well, one the, the, potentially one of the fastest dogs of all. The time was definitely there, as you say, at 28 20. He got knocked out in the second round of the Irish derby, didn't he? Did you see that race? Yeah, I sort of wait. I just I just bought him like three days previous, and I was quite excited. So I just seen him like fifteen favourite to win the Irish Derby, and I kept thinking, look, to be fair to the pup, he's only had five races in his life, and he's taken on like the first round, Buddy Matt Wild, who's running exceptionally well in the Irish Derby at the moment. So, you know, he's only a youngster, new kid on the block, taking on some seriously fast dogs. But we've had him over you now a couple of weeks. He's settling in lovely, so he's very interesting and uh, he's very exciting, especially for the future. Yeah, and he's well respected as well, and that shows in the Star Sports betting. He's priced at fifty to one as Savannah Cody. Yeah. I guess that is a reflection of the, the potential talent this dog has got, and as you say, an exciting prospect. Yeah, he's seriously fast. I mean, like, like to get on a race course at Shelburne, one, do twenty eight, twenty in your first three races, with just natural experience and improvement, you'd expect him to break twenty eight. Well, not many dogs break twenty eight seconds around Shelburne, one, so he's he's he certainly is the real deal, but. Maybe this English derby might come a bit soon from, but we'll, we'll soon find out over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, it's definitely answer. exciting. Mm, August 2018. I, I, I should definitely be nosy at 50 to 1 anyway, told Ben. So that's what we're telling now. Yeah, <laughs> I'll yeah. pass that on. He'll be pleased. Um, you yeah. mentioned Savannah Darn Hot, another one that is with uh, Diane Henry. This one's uh, a little bit older, September 2017. Uh, won a derby trial state back on the 17th of August. Obviously, he's been running in pretty top class company with mixed fortunes at Nottingham. Yeah, he's, he seems to run up at the bend. He can't get around the bend. I mean, that's... And the races have been beaten. He's always lost the race just drifting up at the bend. I mean, he will, he will go to the rail, but around that first bend, he just seems to run up. And, he, and running against the sort of dogs he runs against, you, you can't afford to do that. Uh, but look, again, he, he's, a, he's a quick dog. Is he as quick as I've ever fellow Cody? No, but he's still a decent dog. He made a puppy derby final in Shelbourne last year. So he's a, you know, he's a decent dog. He's run at the highest level. But he just needs to get around that first member at, at Knott's. But he's more of a, a fun dog. Look, he will always runs an honest race, little Danny. You know, he's a super little fella, so we'll have a bit of fun with him. 
It's a hundred to one with Star Sports, a bigger price. Well, you never know. Look, you never know you're looking at a derby. I mean, look, over the years, how many times the best dog won a derby? Very rarely that happens. So you, you never know you look. So, yeah, again, we'll, we'll have a, I'll have a silly little prom bet on him. And hopefully he'll give us a bit of prom for the homes and that. Now, your third contender is an interesting one, Willowdale Shane. This one's a little bit older, July 2017. He's only had the 12 races. And from what I can see, Kevin, he hasn't won one yet, has he? I think he's won one maiden. He beat Hire Boyo. Uh, okay. Hayley Killifee is a decent dog. He picked Hire Boyo up around four or two round knots. But Shane, he ran at Romford over a year ago and did a glassless. Diane's brought him back. We've been very patient with him. Uh, and he, he won that maiden, I think it was in February time, beating Hire Boyo from behind. Really, Shane's more of a staying type. So, of late, I mean, he ran in the Monmore uh, six band race. But he wasn't quite sharp enough because he'd been up a long time. Obviously, not 500, he, he doesn't really have the pace to go to the bend with him. But one thing he does, he stays on really strongly. So, he's one of them sort of dogs that he could keep qualifying. You know, he's an interesting type. The other guy around him, John, he's a good old boy, John. So, if you know, I see John do well with Shane and just keep qualifying through the rounds. And that's that's the name of the game with the derby. Just keep qualifying, keep being in it. And that's, uh, you know, this, that and the other. But he just lacks a bit of pace. And ideally, he wants six bends to be fair. He does have pluses, though. He's a wide runner, so he's likely to get his draw. And he really has been running in top-class companies, so maybe it's a little bit unfair bringing up that strike rate. I think recently has been beaten by, look like, Power, I that's, George. I think that's totally unfair, Julie, really, to be fair. It is. Uh, it is. I mean, especially, like, say, when he runs around Knotts 500, he, he's one of them, he, he just gives him that bit of start. And he's been coming out quite well at Knotts in the last couple of runs. And he's been getting done around the bend, so he's a bit, you know, but... Oh, he, he's one of them. If he got loose at Knox, he'd do 29 60, 70, which is a decent run. Do you know what I mean? So, hopefully, he can keep qualifying for us. So, we'll have plenty of fun anyway. So, I'm looking forward to the derby. I think it's fair to say at Nottingham as well, much more so than when the derby was at, at Wimbledon or maybe even Toaster, people do consider putting that staying type of dog in much more. I think there's quite a lot of staying dogs that go in at Nottingham because it's quite a, a testing 500 metre trip and then all the way around to the pick up week after week. Do you think? Yeah, definitely. With Shane, he's got he's got the stamina, so running week in week out of five hundred, he'd be fine with that. Uh, whether we've got the move of a Cody, that suit him because he's such a young dog. He's had six races life. I don't know, but Shane, that wouldn't bother him in the slightest. And to be fair, the other fella down up, we would call him Danny, but he he he'd be the similar sort of type. He stays better now, so quick ones in the derby won't bother him either. To be fair, eighty to one for Willow Day or Shane. Of those three bets, would you be telling the punters to get on uh, Savannah Cody? If, if Cody strolls in like I think he will do, yeah, definitely. I will be well. He's, he's a very, very fast dog, this dog. I mean, he's a, he excites me for next year, but if he, if he goes nicely in the next couple of weeks, he'll probably excite me for this year's derby as well, do you know? So well, he's very definitely. fast. Well, we'll definitely look up his trials. He sounds like an exciting dog. Uh, you, you've yeah. definitely been spending your money, I'm guessing. These dogs don't come cheap, Kevin. Oh, no, no, they don't come cheap. There's been a lot of talk about pay for him, but yeah, he costs a few quid, but. He's worth every single penny, bless him. But once you buy a dog, the money's gone. So, you know, I buy him to enjoy him. So we'll certainly enjoy what he's going to do on the track for us. Absolutely. Just before we leave you, better get an update on Toaster. Obviously, uh, difficult times, but what's the latest? It's quite exciting, really, because it's actually for a chain that can be a promoter. And we'll give people in now uh, for the 27th. We're only doing a limited sort of audience, 450 people. The box is instantly sold out within about an hour. All five boxes sold out. There's no attempted bookings for the restaurant. Uh, so it's, it's so nice that we can open back up, even though there's only going to be 450 people there. It's very exciting. And also in November, we're going to start on Saturdays. So I'm looking forward to Saturdays. We're going to do a night of stars the first Saturday night we open. Uh, over the next couple of weeks, we'll announce what sort of prize money it will be for each race. And then straight after that, we're looking at doing a winter derby and then we'll do another big comp for December. So it's it's... I've been there nearly a year now, and it's, it's pleasing that we can actually open for, for a few people, to be fair, because there's been a lot of pain there, but now we're coming out the other side, so it's, it's well pleasing. Absolutely. Lots to look forward to, both in terms of Toaster and the Derby. Kevin, I hope you don't get any more setbacks with Toaster. No, um, I hope and listen, not. good luck for the Derby. I'll see you at Nottingham, yeah. hopefully, and uh, we'll keep an eye yeah. on those trials for Savannah Cody, as he's now called. Good luck. Yeah, I can, Julie. That's brilliant. Thank you very much.